We all dream from time to time. Hell, I do. As technology evolves and people's pockets get bigger, boats will increase in size and price. Remember when having a 36 foot center console with twins was rare and meant you were the king of the water? Nowadays it seems that that's the norm. Most of us like luxury things and today we'll be talking about the most expensive center console in the world. What's up guys, it's Life Offshore. If you enjoy the marine world, make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a like, it really helps me out. If you guys have any questions that you want to ask me and get a quick response from me, follow me on Instagram at life.offshore. But back to the video. Some people think that HCB's 65 foot Estrella is the most expensive center console that is being built right now. But that's not the case. They're the second most expensive, but they're not too far off from number one. The most expensive center console in the world is Cigarettes 59 Tirana. When most of us think of center consoles, we think fishing. But Cigarette didn't have that in mind when they created this beast. It doesn't have a single rod holder. They created it for those who like speed, partying, and looks. Oh, and for those who have a lot of money too. The Tirana's most expensive price version comes equipped with six 450R Mercury outboards which propel the boat in speeds of over 83 miles an hour, which is almost unbelievable for a center console of such size. It just goes to show you how far marine technology has come. This boat is like nothing else out there, which is what made Cigarette the household name that they are. They go above and beyond to create the customer's dream. They even approve a digital rendering of each boat to their customers before they begin the manufacturing process. This boat, or yacht I should say, has seating everywhere. It can bring all of your friends and your friends' friends on board. A luxury accessory that comes on it is a Seakeeper 9, which is around $100,000 with installation and taxes. For those of you who don't know what a Seakeeper is, it's basically a stabilizer for boats. It stops around 85 to 90% of the roll, which in turn means less time of being seasick. But Seakeepers are as luxury as they come in the marine world, with their most expensive Seakeeper being $225,000, without installation. Cigarette also puts dual 24 inch garments for your GPS needs. Two feet of screen is a lot to go around on the center console. And as if two feet wasn't enough, they added another one. I guess a total of four feet in GPS's. Now for such a big boat, the cabin is small. It has a California king size bed and a shower head to go along with it. But that's not where this boat shines. It wasn't designed for a big cabin. This boat is all about performance and having a good time. You wanna go from Miami to Bimini in one hour with 20 people on the boat? This will get it done, easily. But all of this comes at a price tag which is a whopping $3.6 million. It's almost hard to wrap my head around how expensive this super center console is. That's more than enough money for a lifetime. Well, just like anything luxury, they're just that. They're not necessities, but pleasure. It's for those who reach a certain level of financial success that can enjoy these things. Obviously, there's things in yachts that are much more expensive than this. But for me, it's about it being a center console. That's what makes it so hard for me to look at it as it being $3.6 million. Now, if you tell me it's a 100 foot yacht, I get it. I get it. Those boats are supposed to be expensive. But a center console? To what point have we reached? How much bigger can we go? How much more expensive can we go? It's got six outboards on the back and that already is starting to look a little ridiculous. So with all that being said, guys, that about wraps it up for the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a comment and a like. And if you have any suggestions for any videos you wanna watch, drop a comment below. And like I said, guys, if you wanna Ask me a question on Instagram, go ahead, send me a DM. That's the fastest way to reach me. I post awesome content on there as well. Um, and until next time, you can catch me offshore.